Behold my intro. My name is Kaka TV, and one day I will be the best reaction channel on YouTube. But I'm not sure if we're gonna make it at that rate at this rate. Anyways, we're starting the Megumin spin-off story. Everybody's learning about their training sessions. This is a nice, refreshing take on Megumin's backstory that we don't know much about, other than the fact that everybody's super cool and OP and does cool intros. Why are their parents broke? Apparently, it's because like they're like a failed entrepreneur. What was el what else is going on? There was that pink-haired lady. Apparently, she's actually the girl that we saw with Hans in the hot springs in season two. That kind of implies that she's related to the Demon King generals, meaning, is she also be the next Demon King general? We'll see about that. Let's begin today's reaction. Hey, hey. Looks, looks kind of sketchy. I don't know. I wouldn't imagine them buying shit from like this random merchant in the forest, but hey, it's a, it's a small village, right? This guy's jacked. Not a friend, a rival. Rivals, right? No, oh, he's crying. <laughs> Megumin picked it out for you. Oh, we're like best friends. So I merely picked it for you. So soon today. Their friendship is so nice, though. She cares about Yunyun so much. Yeah. Oh, but you even planned out the duel. That's how much you care. Oh, usually we do this with pens or pencils at school. With the knife is a bit dangerous, man. That's like, you fuck up once, that's gone. Like, your finger is done. Why do this? This is so dumb, but when you're a kid and you see some, like, older kid doing this shit with, like, a pen really fast, you're like, oh my god. It's so cool. And then you try doing it, then you stab your finger and you're like, what have I done? Terrible idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, the lunch too. We, we look like we're bullying her now. <laughs> She's been taking her lunch. Union's lunch. <laughs> Megumi's been taking Union's lunch, but been giving it to Komiko instead. I think this is justified. It was kind of fucked up that she was just taking her lunch, but it fits for Komiko. Come on, right? This is fine. Are you bringing it? I kind of, I'm kind of worried about what she caught. Mm. These drawings are next level. <laughs> They're so good. They're just as good as my Microsoft Paint art. That's how we found him. What? Hello. I thought. Wait. I thought Chomusuke like showed up um randomly, like one in one episode in Conan Super in like season one or. Ooh, I think it's one. Chomusuke just showed up randomly, right? And I was like, the fuck? Okay. But Chomusuke followed Megumin all the way. Damn. Hello. Why does Chomusuke have a little cross on the head? Doesn't it? And the, and the cross kind of looks inverted. Doesn't that imply like Antichrist? That's probably a lie. We brought Chomusuke to school? Aw, so cute. <laughs> We're making shit up. I, I, I. Wizards with familiars are a fairy tale setting. But you guys just using your magic isn't? Everybody, what? <laughs> no touchy. Aruwe is fine. Union isn't? You know, Chomusuke was also very against Aqua. Every time they're together, Chomusuke just like biting Aqua or something, but even Union not allowed? Oh, special lesson. Unemployed. <laughs> the village needs unemployed pieces of shit that don't contribute to society. <laughs> Groups. Union, please find a group. Union, please don't get left behind. Megumin, come on. Come on, you guys sit beside each other. Come on. You want to team up? Come on, please. Mm. Aruwe and Megumin, yeah. Yeah, Aruwe and Megumin like partnered up last episode too. Can't Union join though? Uh. Donko. <gasps> oh, they care about Union! Wait, will Megumi get a little bit jealous? Because it looked like she was just about to say, like, I'm gonna help you out, but. Oh. 
kind of ditched Megumin and Arue. You're not gonna take this hard, right? Do you actually care, Megumin? Naturale. One of my favorite genres in hentai. What? Oh, that looks pretty heavy, right? Magical powers to amplify body strength. Hmm. We haven't really seen like physical combat, but they can just augment their physical strength with magic. <laughs> what is the soundtrack? Arue is so good. <laughs> Her intro. <laughs> Do you have an intro for picking up a weapon? 10 out of 10. She's so good. Yunyun, where's your intro? Oh, you lied. Sensei, why did you lie? <laughs> We're just playing along with it. Okay, fine. I really thought that it was heavy. Oh! Oh, I kind of feel bad for that little lizard. No, come on. Why do we... That's kind of fucked up. That's cowardly. <laughs> that's 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 I don't know about this man. Nah no nah, we give, attack the sensei instead. No nah, attack the sensei instead. Free the lizard thing. Oh Okay, Megumin. <laughs> Is she? I didn't realize she was the class ace. Oh, if Sensei's gonna walk away, let's free it. At, at least she's doing a cool intro. No! Oh. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> I'm glad it got out, actually. I think Megumin got defeated by a near dead monster. Or did she beat <laughs> No, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? We can't do this. This is so cruel. No! No! Nunu can't do this. Look, it's crying! Fierce against actual enemies? Like, this is not an enemy. Well, it is technically a monster. Oh, Megumi, don't! <laughs> Megumi's awfully sadistic today. Huh? Okay, that thing we can probably kill. See, I should probably act the same. Arui was the only one that wasn't phased there. But I should probably act the same, same sympathetic way. Arui again wasn't phased there. But it's just because, like, it's not cute, you know? If it's cute, I, ca I can't do it. But if it's not cute, fuck it. Huh. Even the headmaster had some kind of big gargoyle thing in front. Yeah! Wait, did these motherfuckers fuck it up? <laughs> Giant hole. Oh! That was a guy's voice. Who is this? A hero has appeared. Why are you in the hole? <laughs> oh, hey! This is one of the first guys we met that saved us when we near... Yeah, Buk I, I don't remember his name, but I remember his intro. It was one of the best intros. In fact, wasn't it the first intro ever in the movie? Like, of all the intros in the movie, his is the first one, and I think I've, I've re-watched those intro scenes. It's one of the best ones, for sure. If not the best. <laughs> ah, the Shushab Inheritor! I don't know if that sounds so cool, but... Okay. Yeah, how'd you get stuck here? Who? Ooh. Soketo Stalker! Wow, how romantic! <laughs> Deranged. Yo, bury this hole right now. Bury this hole. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dangerous. Those eyes are dangerous. Those eyes are dangerous. <laughs> Everybody's so creeped out. And they're 12 year olds right now, right? That's 12 year olds hearing this shit. A legitimate way. Based Arue. Whoa. Wait, the gargoyles are all attacking. We'll be fine. Our village is so strong. Oh, there's another big one. Arue again, not based. That's the magic skill. Light of Saber. They spammed the shit out of that in the movie. Headmaster and Headmaster to be. 
They probably caused this, right? Like, the gargoyles are because the adults did something stupid, right? My ornamental gargoyles. Motherfucker, you caused this! Oh! That's the... Megumin's robe guy, right? There's the king of the yeast, right? That's the archer? I, no, sorry. Fisherman? Master of yeast? I love this guy the most. Fucking insane. I don't remember this guy. I don't remember him in the movie. But we got a tea master. We got a fisherman. We got a bakery dude. And we got a fat Elvis. Okay. Inferno is a new one I haven't heard. Okay. Out of the mouth. Okay. Looking like Sasuke using cartoon. Out of way holding the pose like this. Out of way is so cool. Even her comments are so epic. Wait. Was he looking back to see, hey, do I look cool right now, guys? But they're nothing compared to... See, they keep looking back. These dudes keep looking back at the girls like, hey, girls, are you impressed? Explosion. They're nothing compared to explosion. That magic was unreal. That was the first magic skill we saw in this, you know, in this season. That doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> Heat that burns your skin. <laughs> Smell that pierces your nose. <laughs> He's using his bread as a fucking weapon! Oh no! Oh no! Who's. Don't tell me they're fucking. Headmaster, are you gonna pay for this shit? Bro! Could you imagine the parents are in there and you just happen to kill the parents? I know it's not that kind of anime, but these guys are dangerous. Bro, you're gonna burn- Who's more dangerous right now? The gargoyles or these motherfuckers? They're insane! They're so insane! You caused this. <laughs> you guys did this. Are you gonna go do a sentimental speech right now? After you demolish your own village trying to look cool. The storefront decoration is probably from the Isekai dude, right? The guy that created the destroyer. Curse yourselves. You guys did this. Then again, at the end of um, the movie, the whole village was destroyed too. I'm sure they can build this shit up. They got magic. And the next day, looks like we're all good. What happened? Magic. How we're just... Didn't we blow this shit up? Everything is fine. How? Magic, right? You can just use magic to do that shit. At the end of the movie, I was genuinely worried about the state of the Crimson Demon Village because Lady Sylvia wiped out the entire shit. I was like, everybody living here, what are they gonna do? Turns out they do this for fucking fun. It's just a Tuesday afternoon for them. Burn this, sh burn this shit up. Have a sentimental speech about how we're gonna take forever to rebuild. In a single day, everything is fine. It's all fine. It's all fun and games here. <laughs> the headmaster is actually pretty funny too. I didn't realize that the tea master was there. There's a master of yeast. There's an archer guy. There's the, you know, fat Elvis. And what was his name? Bukuroki or something? The guy stuck in the hole. I still think, and you guys should go check it out in the movie. His intro, the way that his voice acting was done, it is like so much better than all the intros that we saw in the movie. At least in my opinion. And I saw the English subs of that too, just to see what the comparison's like. Even the English dub, it was actually so good for that guy's intro. Actually so good, but hey. You're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.